Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Carlos Monreal. I work as a business developer here at Veronet. And today I will, be, I will be presenting together with Eddie from EFL this webinar about uh, unified communication and how to connect the gateway, the Veronet gateway, with the 3CX uh, in the cloud. Okay, so um, so what we've got here um, is we have the VPN set up. This is exactly how I've got it set up anyway. Um, so I've got a uh, Baronet FXO gateway set up on my uh, local site. I've got a VPN set up between two Zyxel SBG 3300 routers here and here. Um, the actual VPN setup side of it will be for another day. We actually have guides on how to do this, so um, if you need to help with getting a VPN set up between two Zyxel routers, by all means we can help you with that side of it as well. But for now, uh, the VPN set up and it's working. Um, I'll be doing confirmation tests in a minute when we do the, the show um, of the setup. Okay. Um, I'll have my 3CX system set up over here in the cloud. Okay, um, This is probably most, um, most suitable for people who are hosting their own 3CX. Okay. Um, if, you, uh, if you have a hosted provider, um, then they're probably not going to give you access to their, their network side of things. So that will be for, for another scenario and another setup. But for, for now, um, I have my 3CX hosted um, system in my, uh, on my office premises, for example, maybe, uh, and my Baronet gateway on my customer site. Okay? So as you can see, um, I've brought the phone screen up first just so you can see my difference in IP addresses. Um, my local site with my Baronet gateway is on my um, my 172 address, okay, uh, to my 172.30 subnet range, and my 3CX hosted system uh, in the cloud is on my 192.168 range. So what I will do is uh, just I'll do a quick confirmation uh, confirmation test, okay. So I will just check I can ping everybody. which is my router at the other end. Baronet Gateway. And I've also got a remote phone set up as well, so I'll check, check that everybody's talking to each other. Okay, so from my 3CX system, now that I can confirm that everybody's uh, pingable and everyone's talking to each other, um, I'm going to set up my gateway. So obviously I have my gateway already open up here. I'll take the IP address. Now I'll get rid of that because uh, over the VPN you can use uh, the plug and play scenario. Uh, the SBC scenario that Carlos um, showed us a little bit earlier on, uh, you cannot do the plug and play over. You need to do a manual setup for that. However, um, if any of you viewed our, our earlier um, presentations, You'll, you'll know that the manual setup is, is just as simple with Baronet as the, uh, the plug and play version. So I'm going to add my gateway in. Put in my IP address here. Okay, I'm just going to put for the for the purpose of the test. I'm just going to use one of my FXO ports today, and obviously take note of the password. I'll put in a simple allow all calls outbound rule. And as I said, what it will do here will prompt you for the configuration of the Baronet card via the IP address you put in. Um, as I said, over the VPN, this is completely possible. We can do plug and play. Pops up with the uh, VoIP PBX settings wizard. So I put in here the IP address of 36 phone system and the port 5060. I'm only using the one port, as you saw with the uh, configuration on 36. And my 9001 9, was my port and my password. Okay, so I'll save this. And obviously, uh, for people who are familiar with Baronet devices, you'll be aware that you need to 
activate it after saving the settings. You can see now that over the VPN, the gateway is now registered. So we can now make calls um, from our FXO line uh, on our customer site through the uh, through the VPN uh, and you know to our SIP phones on the other side. And as you can see, if we look at the Baronet device, and what I'll do now is I'll give you a brief sort of overview of the um, the Baronet's uh, web GUI as well. Okay, so if we look at the Baronet device. I can see that my uh, FXO port is connected up with my registrar here. Um, whilst we're here though, I'll show you what the auto configuration wizard did for me. As I said, manually this is quite simple as well. However, um, you know the plug and play is, is quicker. Uh, it set me up a SIP interface here. Set everything up for my 3.6 system. It sets up my PSDN interface here. And it also configures my dial plan for me as well. A couple of other interesting areas within the device as well is the graphical representation page. It will show you obviously what you've got available to you in your Baronet device, your ports, as well. You have your debugging areas, so dial plan debug. This is available to you. This is sort of a short brief overview of um, a call, so if you want to make a call um, through the dial, play, dial plan debug, um, it will tell you um, who's the call is being made from and who it's going to and the route that that takes. Uh, this is a sort of a shorter, um, less in-depth version of the full trace, which you have available to you here. Uh, we have the app market as well within the system. Where you can download various various apps available with uh, with the Baronet device, DHCP server, SMS gateway, SIP proxy servers are available, and Open VPN as well. Okay, so um, that's the configuration side of the uh, Baronet device over the VPN. Um, as I said, this is available via SBC as well, um, but again, that will be a manual configuration. So uh, back over to you, Carlos. Okay, thank you very much again. I will send you the presentation so that you can take a look. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Thank you. Cheers.